Hedgehog's Autumn Hide and Squeak by Steve Wilson and Lucy Tapper. Read by Ben Hobbes. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to make funny shadows as the sun comes up. They like to follow shiny snail trails and catch dewdrops from leaves. And after a rain, they like to spot sparkling spiderwebs. When Horace is busy, Hattie likes to decorate her nest. When Hattie is busy, Horace likes to practice his music. One windy autumn day, the sky was filled with leaves falling from the trees. It was pretty, but Hattie felt sad that the branches would soon be empty. Horace didn't want Hattie to be sad. He gathered up as many leaves as he could and was trying to put them back on the tree when suddenly something squeaked. Horace and Hattie leaped with surprise. They landed in a pile of leaves. The squeaky thing thought it was a game. He loved to play hide and seek. Horace and Hattie loved to play games too. They were experts at hiding and seeking. First, Horace and Hattie searched for their new friend in the blackberry bushes. When they found him hidden in a tangle of brambles, he squeaked with joy. It took the squeaky thing a long time to spot his friends among the seed pods. Horace and Hattie knew the squeaky thing was hidden somewhere beneath the toadstools and mushrooms. Squeak! At last, they found him. The three friends giggled. It was so much fun to play hide and squeak. Horace had one last hiding place. He'd spied a secret spot. Hattie hunted. The squeaky thing searched. They looked and looked. Horace waited and waited until... Surprise! Horace popped out of a pumpkin. The other two squealed in fright and delight. When the last leaf fell from the tree, it was time for the squeaky thing to return to his family. Hattie felt sad again. Horace had an idea. He whispered to their new little friend. And the tree came alive with colorful leaves, laughter, and lots of new squeaky friends. The end.